Hi, this is uh, October 13th, 2011. I'd like to talk a little bit about Tea Party and Occupy, two movements that are uh, very popular today, two political movements. The Tea Party movement was formed a few years ago, several years ago, by some very disgruntled uh, middle class, working class Americans who are tired of government intervention in our lives. They're tired of regulations. They're tired of taxes. They're tired of uh, our governments trying to control every aspect of our life. Uh, I am not a member of the Tea Party, by, by the way. I don't, I'm not part of them. I'm, I'm really an uh, independent conservative. But uh, I appreciate their stance. And the Tea Party, over the last several years, by having rallies and by a grassroots movement, have been able to elect uh, certain members of Congress that have been able to exert a, a very, what I consider to be a positive influence in our otherwise runaway, run amok federal government. The Tea Party has been characterized as bigots, as racist, as dangerous, as Nazis. All these appellatives coming from none other than, uh, you know, leaders in our government, of course, very liberal leaders in our government. Our own uh, President Barack Obama, who is a, a uh, confirmed Marxist, has uh, labeled them as dangerous, very dangerous. Of course, they've never threatened any violence. They've never uh, had a riot. They meet and they have speakers who express their political opinions, which is guaranteed under the Constitution. And uh, they have exerted, again, what I consider to be a positive influence. Some would disagree, and that's okay. We have another movement that has arisen recently. They're called the Occupy Movement, Occupy Wall Street. Uh, and there's Occupy Pittsburgh and Occupy Los Angeles, and now it's spreading all over to different cities. Occupy. Where do they come from? Well, they're, uh, while the Tea Party is right-wing, and I like right, I think they're right, this Occupy movement is very, very leftist, it's very Marxist, it's communist. And the Occupy movement, what they do, they have a, uh, if, you, if you read about what's going on in New York City, they've been camped out in a park for, I guess, uh, weeks now. They've been defecating publicly. They've been having uh, sexual relations, groping each other publicly, using drugs publicly in this park because this is a left-wing, radical, liberal movement. They don't care about the laws. They're, uh, they're basically anarchists. They don't care about the laws. They have a riot mentality. They think that by just enough people making enough noise, they'll accomplish what they want to accomplish. This is typical of left-leaning liberal people. And of course, our wonderful president has called them concerned American citizens who are really concerned about what's going on in Washington. When really all they are, just like our, our president, they're, they're socialists, Marxist, anarchists, whose main goal is the destruction of the constitutional government of the United States of America. Yes, I believe Barack Obama would love to see our Constitution dismantled and reassembled so that we can take all the stuff off the rich people and give it to all the poor people. Uh, and of course, we saw how well that worked in Soviet Russia. But uh, that's their goal. That's their goal. And we're coming up next year to a presidential election. And interestingly, some of the front runners of the Republican Party that might be challenging Barack Obama, they they think the same way about the Tea Party. Uh, Mitt Romney, he's very concerned, you know, because he's, uh, well, whatever. I just want to tell you, for all you people out there listening, and there's not many people that watch my videos, so that's okay. I'm, I'm not going to have that big of an impact. But for those of you people out there listening, if anybody out there is a Christian, okay, I'm a Christian. I'm a born-again Christian. Um... I don't believe that Jesus was a Republican, and I don't believe he was a Democrat. Jesus was God. For all of you Christians out there, your first priority is to follow Jesus Christ. To do what's right in his eyes. That means that when you go to vote 
for your local representatives or the president or whoever it might be, you need to pray. And you know what? I'm going to say something that's like uh, horrible to, in a lot of people's ears. If there's nobody good to vote for, don't vote. Oh, if you don't vote, you don't count. Well, you know what? If you do vote, you don't count. According to our Constitution, everybody counts. Uh, according to some of these leftist Marxist people that aren't even citizens of our country, count. In reality, you really don't count. The ones who really count are the ones that count. <laughs> the dollar bills, they're the ones that count. They're the ones that make the rules. We have to live by it. So pray before you vote. And uh, prayerfully vote. And if you don't feel there's anybody you can honestly vote for, don't vote. And you don't have to explain that to anybody. You need to realize that God created government. He did not create government to give us all a handout. He created government to defend the country and to keep order. That's what he created government to do. If any government usurps that authority, then they're going against what God told them. God created them to be. So, I pray that you would use some common sense and uh, make righteous judgments. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you to do so. See, because here's what I can say as a Christian. My citizenship, I have a citizenship in the United States of America. I'm glad I'm an American. I, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. But I also, my main citizenship is in heaven. That's the one I really have to be loyal to. And when my government starts making me go against what my God says, I have to go with what my God says. Because that's where my main citizen That's where I'm going to spend eternity. I'm only in the United States of America for maybe 70, 80 years, maybe. Maybe not that much. But I'm going to be in heaven for eternity. So Christians, remember that. If you're not a Christian, you need to be one because things are going to get real bad around here. And you need to have a God you can depend on. So I'm done rambling. I'm sure I didn't make any sense. Excuse me, I'm, I'm just home by myself. My wife is in, in her quilt club tonight. And when she goes to her quilt club, I'd like to sit and talk to myself. So I figured I might as well, while I'm talking to myself, I might as well record it so everybody else can hear it too. God bless you. Have a great day.